Good morning, this is Badr Soma, happiness and health coach, and today I will talk about the gunas. The gunas are the modes of material nature described by Lord Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita. They are also the qualities of our consciousness, and they are sattva, rajas, and tamas. Tamas is the mode of ignorance or darkness, and it is characterized by stagnation, fear, depression, loneliness, attachment. It is uh, pe usually we are thinking about the past, so it's past oriented, and it's an energy of uh, dependence, and it's usually uh, acting from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. Um, then rajas is the mode of passion, so it's uh, creativity, uh, activity, um, lust, greed, desire for wealth, ambition, a uh, lot of activity, it's excessive activity and so it's out of balance and it's pleasure seeking and pleasure is a poor substitute for joy. Um, rajas is future oriented and it's usually independent and it's acting from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So that's why uh, usually the week, the work day is uh, from 9 to 5, which is uh, similar to rajas. And uh, the rajasic uh, diet is consisting of a lot of uh, chili and uh, a lot of uh, coffee and, and stimulants. And uh, I forgot to mention uh, the tamasic diet is a lot of meat and alcohol and drugs. Uh, then we have uh, sattva, the mode of uh, goodness, which is about uh, love, compassion, harmony, balance, equilibrium, austerity, meditation, and um, it's in the present moment. It's dominant by uh, the energy of interdependence and, and uh, cooperation, and it's acting between 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., which is the best time to wake up, as I mentioned in my last video and also 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. So um, the energy of sattva is about being and rajas is doing and tamas is dying. So a yogi, a yogi's goal is to stay in uh, sattva gun. So we're always influenced by rajas and tamas but uh, we're able to change our uh, habits so that we can um, stay in a sattvic, pure state of mind. So tamas will, will always be fighting that because tamas is the energy of holding on to habits and negative ways of thinking and uh, this, this stuck energy. So we need some rajas to get out of tamas so that we can get into sattva. So uh, a sattvic lifestyle consists of a vegetarian diet, no alcohol, no drugs, um, service to others, being in nature, um, cultivating uh, qualities like uh, forgiveness, gratitude, humility, patience, tolerance, reading of scriptures, studying yourself, being authentic to yourself, being vulnerable, and surrounding yourself with positive people. A good association is, is very important for uh, sattva. And so in that way we can um, cultivate sattvic mindset for our whole life and then that will seep into um, other other parts of our, our life. So for example, um, if we're mostly in sattva then our sleep will be sattvic. So we won't have much dreams and we'll have a deep sleep. And then also during the day we'll be sattvic although there's the energy of rajas. So uh, that's the gunas. So happy Diwali. Thanks for watching. Hare Krishna.